Good morning, Fremont family. Today we are looking at Titus chapter 2. And in this short letter to uh, a young person that Paul was mentoring, uh, we see what I think is just a, a simple yet very profound way that our following of Jesus gets handed down. In the same way that Paul wrote this letter to whom he calls a young son in the faith to Titus. He's giving instruction to Titus about how to also teach these things to older men and older women who are then teaching younger men and younger women. And it's clear to me that God's plan from the beginning, that our Lord's plan from the beginning is that we as his people would take the truths that we have learned and hand them on to another generation. And we see this in Titus chapter 2. We see that Titus is told to uh, teach these things to others who will then teach others. And the, the last thing I just want to mention in this is that at the end of this chapter, Paul tells Titus this reminder that God's grace has brought salvation, this whole life salvation for all people, it says. And as a result of that salvation, we are invited to deny the things that draw us into sin. We're invited to live into an abundant life of following Jesus. And we do this in this present age while we wait, this hopeful waiting that we have until the Lord Jesus appears again. He says this in verse 14 of chapter 2, that Christ Jesus gave himself for us to redeem us from all lawlessness. For what reason? to cleanse for himself a people for his own possession. This is language from the Old Testament that, that God's people were a treasured possession of God. And the point of him saving us is to create a people. And that people, as Titus 2 says, are ones that are eager to do good in the world. So I pray that today that we would be reminded here that the way of Jesus has always been a handing on to the disciples who then hand on to other disciples the way of Jesus. And to always remember that the point of Jesus redeeming us from all sin and lawlessness was to create a people that are eager to do good in this world. So my prayer today my challenge to you is to think about whom God has put in your life that you might be able to hand on what you have learned in simple ways, in deep and profound ways, in practical ways. How can you hand on to those around you this good news of Jesus? And what good might we do even today in the world to show that we are that treasured possession of God. Grace and peace to you on this day. Amen.